Well, I am uh, uh, Ioana Ornanar, most people know me, Papa Antonio. I was born in uh, 7 January <laughs> 1936, and that's the reason why they call me Ioana, which is the St. John's Day. And, uh, but everybody used to call me Nana. All my life I wanted to become a, a theatre designer. I was not allowed by my family to do that. After many, many strange uh, affairs, I went to Wimbledon and I was 30 years old, going towards 31, too. And uh, all my schoolmates were 18. <laughs> the five uh, most happy years, the happiest years of my my life. And that's the way I became uh, a designer. So the, the thing is that I wanted to create this uh, 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 foundation here. The collection, I, I, was, I, wasn't a, I wasn't a collector ever. The moment they said, you have uh, the permission to have a foundation, I went out and bought my first pieces that would be presented, uh, which were folk dress costume, uh, especially from this region, Argolis, uh, Ar Ar Argolid. It was a very, very beautiful uh, first exhibition with extremely beautiful objects, uh, but nothing compared to what we have now. I think the first donation was about 6,000 objects, and now we have over 50,000. In, in Greece, we have all kinds of looms, and I was very ha lucky to have seen some in use. For instance, the pit loom, which is uh, at the previous stage of the floor loom, and it took years to think that, I mean, uh, if you put it on, on legs, that thing, you could have treadles and heddles, except for the vertical loom, which is the ancient Greek loom. Uh, not only ancient Greek, I mean, even today, the Sami in uh, the North Pole uh, have uh, this kind of looms. Uh, and the quality of the work is, used to be as good as the quality of the work now. I mean, the, it, it's easier for the weaver, but the quality of the work was as good in those times. And you know that from the Parthenon, uh, when they had uh, the Panathenia, and they would bring the, the peplos of the, for Athene, and uh, the peplos was woven by the women for a whole year. And it was something obviously exquisite. And they would dress the, the statue with this uh, incredible piece of uh, material. But the, the, the loom that I would like to, to say more about is the, the one that, uh, that we, women used to weave the plafi. And that has a, to, a lot to do with the, the Albanian, uh, uh, or Arvanites as we say, or, or Illyri at the time, which came here after a, a pest. And the Plafi, Plafi really it is called, they used to, to have that. They were very poor, the people, <laughs> remember. I mean, their houses were uh, earth, uh, they had earth on, uh, on the, for the floor, and uh, they would sleep with animals and so on. And they had a, a place where they would put uh, straw on it and something on top to sleep. So when a woman was going to get married, they would weave all together 
in the ancient Greek way, the plafi in the villa square, using for the two posts uh, pine trees that they would uh, clean all together and set the warp using either goat or lamb skin uh, wool, sorry, uh, to create the, the, the warp and the weft. But before starting, the, the bride would go through the, the warp and they would throw to her rice and almonds, so wishing her to be happy. And they, then they would start weaving all together, the women, to make the plafi using uh, certain bits in between as uh, tufts. So uh, for the first night of, uh, the, uh, of the wedding, they would throw over the straw, this uh, uh, cover, and they would sleep on that. And then it would be kept as something very precious. In some cases, they would uh, create, if they did, couldn't do it in the, as they did in the old times in the village square, they would do it inside the, the house, hanging from a, one of the uh, rooftops. So that was newer means, but the older mean was the one that I am telling you. And I was very lucky to find someone to uh, describe it to me. It's called the uh, Vasily Papadonio, my, my father's name. And the reason we changed uh, recently our uh, status is that uh, you, you can't, when you start collecting something, you can't uh, say it will be folk art or folklore or whatever. But uh, because the first Greeks studied in Germany and it was Volkskunde in German, when you say folklore in English, it sounds very bad. It's, uh, you should say some, some other word. What we do in the museum is we collect and study uh, culture in general, in, uh, in every form. And if we said laografia, what are you doing, laografia? the word laografia and laocratia. Laocratia is the, the power of the people. And laografia is folk, uh, folk culture.